Yeah, thank you very much, Cal. Well, you know, when it comes to home improvements, I'm probably pretty good at telling you what not to do. And that's why I have Janie Casori with me. And today we're talking about redoing a bathroom in a creative way, making it kind of a beachy look. We live here in South Florida, all about the beach. You know me, it's going to be fun and wild. And I know you're the ultimate uh, I'm candy the man. Oh, you know what, boy, I, yeah, it's not working out the way I have hoped. Um, you do but, uh, everything. you got to talk to my husband and the dizzy trick. I'm too dizzy, I can't do it. But oh. meanwhile, okay. <laughs> everything here came from Lowe's. You can go... Get your building supplies to Okay, so you're telling people not to be intimidated about taking wallpaper off. Oh, because I hate not. that. Sometimes it comes up with little teeny tiny strips on It's messy, whatever. but it's no big deal. Or okay. if it's in good condition, nothing's peeling and cracking off, you can actually paint over it. Really? Use an oil-based primer. You know me, I'm water-based everything, but if you could use an oil-based primer, do that. And then these are your two perfect colors for the look that we're looking for. Periwinkle blue, not to be confused with baby blue. It's got a little bit of lavender in it. It's so Nantucket-ish. Is All that right, sure, sure. Nantucket-ish works for me. And I'm guessing seafoam green. No, no, no. no. See, you're 80. Oh. This is... Oh, 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 oh. Mayor, she's hurting me over here. This is citrus, I'm citrus lime. Up next, a gardening expert who confirmed not everything can grow in South Florida, but she'll help us make the best of the beautiful things we do. Welcome back, everybody. You need to know that, no, this is not the Garden of Eve, or I don't know what it is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the rules are different in South Florida when it comes to gardening. So take all the books that you've read before, especially the ones that are written about stuff up north, which is about all of them. Oh, yeah. And throw them away. I can prove that. You can come to my house and see every dead plant, because <laughs> I've read all those books, and it's not working for me down here. Yeah, look can at her. There's our out? little cherry tomato yeah. over here. <laughs> She's going to be helping us. And she can't even grow tomatoes. That was my biggest thing. Happens, yeah. yeah, I really miss a good tomato, and, and apparently I'm not I'm telling you, you, I'm telling you. And it's nothing Jersey like, corn. That's right. <laughs> but there's nothing like our dirt, our soil, our sun, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We live in a whole different universe, so gardening is sure. different. You look at these magazines, and your heart melts. It's like, I want to have those hydrangeas. I want to have those lilacs, but you right. can't. So we don't have to lower no. our expectations. No. We just have to change them. We got these them. things. Look at this. this Do you have are names for these people? These are our Florida That's Roberta. That's <laughs> right. But Roberta got so one load in the truck. So that's <laughs> But see, it's just way of thinking. Look at these bougainvilleas. Oh, have you ever think, seen bougainvilles. anything so gorgeous? These are our plants. And more dangerous. Have you ever gotten... Oh, have you ever yeah, been... Yeah, you go buy those things, you know, and it, it's a poison. They, no, no, it's no, no. It's no. Because <laughs> you get stuck and it hurts like... Three days later, it's still hurting. He's a sissy gardener, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> right, tell everybody who we have with us. This is Janie, <laughs> Janie Casoria. And tell us... Oh, thank you. J.K. Rowling has captivated children and parents across the world with her tales of Harry Potter. And if your little boy or girl is one of those who waited lines for hours to get their hands on the latest book, they're going to love this. Because joining me now is resident artist Janie Casoria, and they're going to show us how to give their room a makeover that is just like Hogwarts. Absolutely. Now, wow. just because we're talking about caps and stone walls, I don't want anybody to think gray and dark and dreary and gringy. We're making happy stones. Okay. We use a nice color, nice rich warm color palette. Cans, creams, and oak. I have a checkerboard floor. These little peel and stick tiles, 79 cents each. No mastic, no, no grout, no must, no fuss. Just cut them and stick them down. Right. No sweaty men in your house. No. Well, I could be this thing too. <laughs> I okay. know I like you. <laughs> now, here's where the magic starts happening. There is nothing, uh, you know really tough or exact with this. It's all free form and loose. The only thing that you're going to have to exact is your lines when you're blocking out your stones. Yeah. Because you can have lumpy stones, but you can't have droopy stones. Right, right. So you want to make sure with a level and a pencil that your lines are all nice and formed evenly. Mm -hmm. You're going to take your darker value with glaze and flump, flump, flump with your paintbrush, your lighter value, flump, flump, flump. Do you make that noise while you do it? Yeah, yeah. You actually say flump, yeah. flump, And it's nothing. And then just flop, flop, flop with your brush. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Do you want to paint? <laughs> but see, it's right. easy. There's nothing in that. Right. A, and two foot by three foot is about a good size to do your stone. Each stone. Each stone. And I would imagine you can vary that depending on the size of the child's room. Right. The smaller, the smaller the stone. Right. Got and it. you don't have to worry about mathematical geniuses making sure you end up on the wall and the corner. They, who cares? Yeah, these are old stones. They're right. hand-hewn stones, so some are bigger, some are smaller. There's no must, no fuss. 
Like I say, the only thing is your lines. Do you want to paint some cracks? <laughs> I want to paint some cracks. All right, what, what sure. What we've done here is when you just follow the lines, smush the brush thicker. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's okay. It doesn't, there's no right or wrong. Just slinkle like this. Slinkle. There you go. Well, come up with these words. I love it. You know what? You are a natural teacher, and you're so good at this. I want to let you all know that Janie will be demonstrating her Harry Potter room makeovers at Borders Bookstore in Fort Lauderdale, Saturday, August 13th, which is a week from this Saturday, correct? And we'll do a lot more. Second one. Good. Such a celebrity. Okay. you. Oh, yes. I guess this is mine. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, we just had an absolute screw. You push it halfway into a piece of tape. Now, see, it's it's half in and half out. You want to make sure that this isn't going to poke through to the angel. Then you're just going to lay it across, a great idea. and that's all. Then when you're done, you come out and you can screw your little angel anywhere. Now or this tape will just peel right off of the, the dry The tape will peel plastic. right off, the screw sets right in, or if you want to hang your angel, mm -hmm. here's a little piece of ribbon that uh, helps the Museum of Art make money just for the museum. And, and my little bush is at the White House right now, the littlest Christmas bush, get it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So he's up there with the big bushes. Congratulations. Wow. She, she left a cryptic message like, I have the littlest bush. So I'm waiting for the... <laughs> and I want to go back to the White House and call around. me. <laughs> <laughs> but we get around our well, I'm, I'm glad those messages were left in there so people will find out later. The South House Newsmakers have been Nadine Floyd and J Janie Casoria discussing a new sculpture being designed the Boys and Girls Club in Pompano Beach. I'm Spiro Canton. Thank you. For color coffee store. Have them made color coffee. Shrink them about 20%. Then you just cut them out with little decorative scissors, leaving a white border. And it makes it look like an old time photograph. That's clever. And then you just decoupage right onto your pot. If you're doing a scrapbook one, you might want to paint it black or green, because then it looks like the old scrapbooks. And then you got your old photos. So this is something you can bring not only at Thanksgiving, but any time of year oh, when you're invited to dinner. Absolutely. It's a wonderful hostess gift. It's a decorative item to add to your table. Then afterwards, it becomes a decorative canister in her kitchen. Janie Casoria, thank you so much for coming aboard with us today. Thank you. It's so great to get the guy on this side of the crafting wonderful. table. Wonderful. <laughs> Tuesday meetings. Well, there you have it. That's Gold Coast Executive Network. Now, we know we want you, so why not get to know us? One of our founders.